What's up, so you know you love me, you can't get enough of me. Who is your girl, Marie? And y'all already know I'm back, bring that motherfucking heat. You feel me? All right, so this video is going to be very, very interesting, very, very personal to me because I've been planning this video for the longest before I even get into the content of me actually going and getting out of my comfort zone. I want to talk to y'all a little bit more about some of my insecurities. Hey, right, y'all, so let me get y'all set up and then we're going to talk about it. Let's get into it. Oh, I want to go ahead and get ready. I'm about to put these lashes on that somebody gave me. They're called Carson's. Um, they are really, really cute though. Like the packaging is real cute. So I'm super excited. One of my homegirls invited me to a model photo shoot. Um, I was excited until she said that it was like brown panties. Now, the only reason why I wasn't as excited is because I'm getting my feet wet with modeling. So I don't know, my body is just very personal to me. With that being said, like, I have spots all over my body. The majority of my spots though are like on my butt to where like they cover my entire butt. It's just always been a thing when I do like put on a bathing suit around people. A lot of stuff I just keep to myself. I'm comfortable with my body, at least I thought. <laughs> really didn't hit me until I got invited and I realized like, oh my God, everybody's gonna see my spots. Like that was the first thing that ran across my mind. Like, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm dressed now. Okay, so my <clears throat> spots have always been a sensitive subject for me growing up because when I did used to wear like shorts to school and things like that, I would get picked on about it. Been a, a, a little, you know, like if you don't know, you just didn't know. And if you knew, we just didn't talk about it. Like, my spots have created a lot of friction, but now I'm in a place where I'm like, fuck it, fuck it. I see all types of bodies on social media. I see all types of things. And it, it just bothers me to the point of like, women are losing their lives to get their bodies fixed. When all you have to do is understand how to love yourself. Like people say it, say it and say it, but to really do it is is where the work come in at. And by me going to this photo shoot, I feel like this is the first step in me doing the work. Like, don't get me wrong, I always have had love for myself, always. But I feel like this is finna bring me to another notch of, it ain't shit you could say to me. Now I know I'm that bitch. Definitely a confident booster now. I use it as like, my spots are warrior scars, like, the shit that I've endured, the shit that happened that, that made them come. Like, it, it's just a lot. I'm worried about none of that. I'm worried about me. And if I, if I can accomplish my fear, so can you. So that's really what I wanted to bring to this video. Like, transparency, realness, realness. Like, so, Y'all, let's go to this photo No, not even one. Move your hands going back like towards each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you better sell that pussy. <laughs>
Auto oh, Shoot Win Greats. It's a motherfucking wrap. Alright, let's go. Ooh. all right y'all so as y'all can see the photo shoot was so much fun it was so much fun and i'm glad i took a chance on myself and said i was just gonna go and do it i got to meet some bomb ass people it was so monumental for me and where i'm at in my life to be surrounded by positive plus size women like i don't i don't think you understand the dynamics of that positive open-minded not shady, no hating ass shit, no weird ass shit. Positive plus size women. Everybody in the room was big in their own way. And it was dope to see, like, dope to see. Like, it was phenomenal. Like, I was having a ball. I didn't have to get, like, crazy drunk to even do it and be there. Like, it was definitely a vibe. It was definitely a vibe. So you guys will definitely see me doing more out and about and creating this plus size community. Like, we gotta stick together. We got to, we all we got. Certain shit that you gonna go through being a plus size woman, a skinny girl will never understand. So I'm learning you gotta surround yourself with people that is either what you're trying to be or that understand where you at so y'all can grow together. Great on timing. And just like, shout out to my friend Glam because she was very, 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 very helpful with this transition for me. Like I was able to talk to her and confide in her and let her know like pretty much what I'm telling y'all now and or what I told y'all previously in the video. And for her to like, no friend, mm -mm, that face ain't working. Take that, make, take that lipstick off. And I said, take it off. She was like, little friend, it ain't working. It ain't, look at these pictures, this ain't giving. This ain't giving. So I was like, you know what, all right, cool. Cause I know it's coming from a good place. I know she wants me to win just as much as I want her to win. So it was just dope. Like shout out to my friend. Cause she definitely was there for me emotionally more than I even thought I needed. Like it was definitely a dope experience. And I'm excited for more events to come and more collaborations and just growing, growing as a woman, like growing. So, Subbies, I love you. And if you don't stay curvy, who the fuck will? We run the world. Until next time, peace.